Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me again for a midweek devotion. Earlier this week, it was Earth Day, so I want to just invite you to pause with me for a moment and consider how we are in this world and how we are connected through God and how we are called to care for this planet and to respect it and nurture it and um, monitor how it's doing and be caregivers to this earth as well as to the people in our lives and the care for ourselves as we are also a part of this wonderful planet. I'm going to be reading to you Psalm 104 and that will be our prayer today. Um, but before I read that, I want to ask you just to consider kind of assessing your own involvement in the planet. I know when we think about all that the earth is struggling with right now, it can feel a bit overwhelming. But what I also know about our God is that we are all called to different little bits, and it is the whole of us together that makes our earth and our planet a healthy place to live. So perhaps your call is to work towards clean water for all people, and that is your passion and where you want to put your resources and volunteer your time. Perhaps you feel called to work with gardening and farmers and um, bringing about a more healthy way to in, engage in small farms and feeding people um, with healthy fruits and vegetables and, um, and that aspect of caring for our planet. Maybe you feel called to more of a restoration and continuing to plant trees and work with natural preserved areas and making sure that we have environments where we're not going in and changing things, but rather nature is able to grow and flourish on its own. Or perhaps there's something else you feel called to. Perhaps you are somebody who is passionate about recycling and making sure we are doing everything we can um, to cut down on waste and eliminate filling up landfills and, and needing to even have those spaces so much, but are really passionate about making sure that we are engaging in sustainable practices and recycling and upcycling and all of those um, pieces that come into play with that. Whatever it is you feel called to in caring for this earth and planet, and I do say whatever it is because it is very clear that God has called each and every one of us to actively participate in taking care of our earth. The very first piece in how we know our call in this is understanding and paying attention to what we love and just cherish from our earth, what really, really hits us in the heart or what really stands out to us. Those are the places where we start and then in our prayers, we begin to realize like we're just pulling out more news articles to read about one certain aspect, or we're even looking into some research, or we find that in our spare time, we want to engage in activities and realize that that is the direction Christ is pulling us in. And that is our part that we play in caring for our planet. So as we're all in this together and we're all working together to care for our earth, Let's spend a moment in prayer just appreciating how God has created this planet and how God cares for this planet and just honor that we are the ones working with our hands. <laughs> um, we are the ones walking on this earth in, in some very practical ways, but ultimately God is caring for this earth. God is caring for um, the cycles and how the planet works together and that it is God's plan that we are participating in and that we are being a part of. So let's um, step in honor and humility for our God who has created such an amazing place for us to live. So please pray with me. And again, the prayer is Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. 
You set the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers. Fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it shall never be shaken. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they flee. At the sound of your thunder, they take to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys, to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush, gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst by the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use, to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them, the birds build their nests. The stork has its home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild ghost. Goats, the rocks, are a refuge for the connies. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun to know its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. When all the animals of the forest come creeping out, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their labor until evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable, innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. Please go forward having a blessed day and enjoying your call to help care for this earth. <laughs>